Cactus Bob here. Today we're going to talk about daytime running lights on your car or truck. To me, daytime running lights are one of the most important safety features that you can have on your car. It makes your vehicle more visible on the road and for that reason, people won't see you. We've had them on motorcycles forever and just recently, well not recently, but in the last 10 or 15 years, they've been adopted more and more for use in just about every kind of vehicle. But some cars still don't have them. And there are kits that are available to give you daytime running lights. But there are problems with these kits. And we'll go over that in a minute. Uh, my system is very inexpensive. It's easy to obtain and it lasts forever. You will move it to your next car. It will never go bad and you will never have to build another one once you build the first one. So let me show you where we are on this Dodge Dakota that we have here. Nineteen ninety-two, I believe, Dodge Dakota. My daytime running light system. First I want to show you what's typically passes for daytime running lights. This is a little module. I had installed these modules on all of my vehicles a few years back. They burn up. They go bad. They last about two years and this little uh, silicone controlled rectifier or transistor, I'm not sure what it is, shorts out, burns up, makes a terrible smell and they, these things aren't cheap either. So I've had enough of these so I came up with my own system. What my system is, is very, very simple. It is a variable resistor, which gives you the ability to set the headlights at any uh, brightness you'd wish, from extremely bright to extremely dim. And every vehicle will have a different setting. A simple 12 volt relay. That's all there is. Now, I'm probably going to over explain all of this, but bear with me. This is what it looks like it's installed. It's this simple. There's nothing to it. What you have is 12 volt relay. One side of the coil in the relay is grounded. The other side of the coil on the relay goes to your fuel pump output. Your fuel pump relay output which is the same wire that goes to your tank. So whenever your fuel pump is running, the relay for your daytime running lights is running. Well, then all you need to do is take a power source, in this case it's a constant power source, run through a fuse, into the relay connection, and out. This one comes out on this black wire, goes into my resistor. My resistor then goes through the resistor and then out to my high beams. Very simple. Once you've got this done, you'll be able to adjust your resistor when your engine is running to get your daytime running lights to be the brightness that is most comfortable for you. You can be really bright, which is down here somewhere, or really dim. This is pretty much where I set mine. It's around the seven volt area. I have approximately seven volts on this point uh, with the engine running and the headlights off. Now, I have this set to my high beams because I don't want the wear and tear on my low beam uh, filaments. And if I'm gonna get a burnout due to using the daytime running lights, I want my high beam to burn out and not my low beams, so when I drive at night, I won't get a ticket for having a headlight out. The only problem with this is you will see the high beam indicator on your dash glow slightly uh, all the time, day and night, and you just have to get used to seeing that. That happens with this box, too. That's the same problem with here. So, basically, this is a relay and a resistor and a couple of fuses and really this is all it is relay two fuses one for your lead coming off your fuel pump 
maybe a one to three amp fuse needed in this one. This comes off of your battery and goes to your relay. This is what's going to power your headlights themselves. A 20 amp fuse works in that. Your resistor. Here's what the resistor looks like in its box. Here's another version of the same thing that comes from Napa. These could be a little difficult to get. They're getting old. These resistors were used back in the days when you had electric trailer brakes. And these resistors were used to limit the current going to the trailer brakes on the trailer. So you might have to look a little bit to find these resistors. But these are great. They never burn out in this application. They'll last the life of the vehicle. They'll last the life of 10 vehicles. And you'll, you'll, once you put this system together and once you see how easy it is to do, you'll do it in all of your cars. And you won't be playing with these kind of things that basically you have to buy and buy and buy. No more. You'll really appreciate the simplicity of this system. So that's all I have to say about it. I hope you try it. I hope you like it. And let me know if anything goes wrong. I'll try to help you. Otherwise, enjoy. Take care. Oblast.